All right then gang, so I think it's about time for a little challenge for you to do. And we're gonna keep it relatively simple for this first project challenge, but then later on there's gonna be a slightly more difficult challenge as well. So what I want you to do is extract all of this card template into its own components because that's gonna make it much easier to apply logic to each card later in the project. So you can call that component singlecard.js and put it into the components folder, which I've already created over here. I've also created a singlecard.css file, which we're gonna hook up with our single card component later on as well. But anyway, when you're done, everything should work exactly the same way as it does now. The only difference will be that we've extracted the card template into its own component. So pause the video here and give this a whirl. Then if you wanna see my solution, just hit play. Okay then, so hopefully you had a good go at that. Now I'm gonna show you how I did this. So first of all, let's create a new file inside the components folder called singlecard.js. And then inside here, I'm gonna say underscore RFC and hit tab to create this functional component called single card. And then inside this component, first of all, I'm going to import the CSS. Now don't worry if you didn't do this, you don't need to do that as part of the challenge. I'm just doing that so that later on the card looks a bit nicer. But anyway, import and it's dot forward slash single card dot CSS. All right then, so now what we want to do is take all of this template right here, this div, and we want to place it inside the card component. So let's cut it and place it right here. So let's tidy this up. We have this div with a class name of card, and inside it we have another div with the two images. Now there's two problems here. First of all, we don't need the key right here because now we're not inside this map function right here. We output the key down here. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, nest our single card component inside this map function so that for each card we're outputting the single card component. So let me do that, single, card, oops, we need to spell this correctly, single card. So we also need to import it at the top. Let me do that up here. Oh, it's automatically done it for me. Cool, so now we can add on the key property, which is equal to the card.id. So this is where the key goes, right? Inside this component where we're mapping through the cards. Now what we can do is we can take it out of this thing right here because we don't need it in this component. Now the other problem is that we're trying to access the card object right here for the source of the image, and we don't have access to that right here. It's only in this component that we have access to the card. But what we could do is pass down a prop like so. So we'll call the prop card and send it in to that component. So we're sending this thing in right here. So if we save that now, we can accept the prop up here by destructuring it from the props, and now we have access to it in the template. So this should all work the same way now. But before we preview it, I just wanted to show you the CSS that I've added. So if we go over here, we can see for each card, we give it a position of relative. And for each image, we say width 100%, display block, border is two pixels solid and white, and a border radius is six pixels. So some very, very simple styles. All right then, so let's try this out in the browser. Everything should still work the same way. It's just that now we've moved all of our card template into its own component that can be reused. And that's gonna make it much easier in the future to apply logic to single cards inside this component. And now in a browser, everything still looks as though it's working the same way. It looks a little bit nicer because we added those styles to the cards right here. And if I click on new game, they should all shuffle, which they do awesome. 